Hey guys, I get a lot of questions on how I do my facial hair for Jack Sparrow, so I wanted to show you how I trim and style my facial hair. I feel like this would be really helpful for any characters you want to be that require facial hair. I always start with a lace beard in the general shape of what I need. There are a few places you can find lace facial hair online, but I will link you to some in the description. As you can see, I already started trimming half of this mustache, so now I'm going to show you how to trim the rest of it. I start with some little scissors and start trimming upwards from the bottom of the hairs. This really helps thin out the hairs and soften the blunt edge, and helps it look more natural. Once I'm happy with the thinning of the hair, I reshape it. The mustache was originally too long for my face, and I also curved the top of it a bit. I make sure to blend the hairs in so there aren't any blunt edges. And I'm pretty happy with the way it looks. It looks way more natural and is a much better shape. Now I'm going to show you how I style the beard. I already cut a chunk out of the front middle of the beard, and then I pinned it to a foam mannequin head. I start spreading all the hairs and pulling them forward. This makes it easier to separate while styling. I take a section in the middle and separate it from the rest of the hair because these are the pieces that will be braided. Then I start trimming the rest of it and thinning it out. I cut upward just like I did with the mustache so it doesn't have any straight edges and looks more natural. When I'm happy with the length, I lower the piece of hair I separated. I add some glue to make sure it leans in the right directions and holds its shape. Then I section it into two parts and begin braiding it. At the end of the braids, I take little dots of hot glue to replicate beads and to hold the braids in place. Here is the mustache and beard after it's done being trimmed and styled. Later on, I paint these beads off camera. Here is the beard after the beads are painted. When I glue it on my face, I glue it under my chin, not in front of it because I want to elongate the look of my chin. I use Prosade as the adhesive for my facial hair. I lightly spread it all over the lace of the beard. I also apply it lightly on my chin where I will be applying the beard. 
You can also use spirit gum or eyelash glue. That just won't last as long as Prozade, especially if you sweat. After the glue on the lace beard and my chin dries a bit and becomes tacky, I press the beard to my face. Take your time with where you apply it because once it's on, you don't want to take it off again. Also, as it dries, make sure you hold down the edges as they dry too. To blend the edges more naturally, I use crepe hair and pull out loose pieces of it and gently press it to my face. I apply more glue in any desired areas than apply more hair. This works really well to make little pieces like his goatee. All you do is separate the hair a bit and pull or cut off a chunk of hair. Then press it to the areas of glue on my face. While that dries, I'm going to apply the mustache. Since this is a lighter piece, I don't need to apply the glue to the lace of the mustache. I only apply the glue to areas on my face where the mustache will be. Once it's a bit tacky, I press on the facial hair. I also use an eyeliner pencil in a similar color to fill in any gaps and define the shape more. Then I move on to the jawline and I'll show you how I create stubble. Just apply the glue lightly to your face like you would anywhere else and let it get tacky. Then gently press chunks of hair to the glue. When it's dry, you can trim off any extra hair. It really helps the beard blend nicely and look really natural. And that's pretty much it for the general styling and application of my facial hair. I really hope these tips can help you recreate your own looks requiring facial hair. My favorite part of taking off my costume. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Looks beautiful. Ooh, girl. awful. Just use Prosade <laughs> as a remover, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!